Bueno, eh, a continuación, espero que vengan a ayudarme para conectar. A continuación tenemos eh, una comunicación eh, que va a ejecutar Olga Fedorchenko. Olga Fedorchenko es crítica de ballet y escritora. Es especialista en la figura de Jacobson, Leonid Jacobson, eh, sí, tiene un doctorado en Historia del Arte y trabaja como investigadora en el Instituto Ruso de Historia del Arte. Buenos días, señores y señores. Uh, good morning, uh, dear members of Congress. Uh, greeting from snowy, romantic St. Petersburg. Uh, English is not my word in English. Veo que está conectada doble, doble ultra, Olga. Ah, doble ultra. No te he con Ajá, perfecto. Buenos días. <laughs> Buenas tardes, señoras y señores. Uh, greeting from uh, Snow Lane, romantic St. Petersburg. English is not my uh, working language, and I ask help my son uh, to read my report, uh, famous Russian Spaniard of Romantic Era. Both Russian and foreign <laughs> ballet masters working in Russia raised both things. Among them, Ivan Valberg, Adam Glushkovsky, Charles Didlo, Jules Perrault, and Marius Pitipa. They materialized their dreams and some of them their recollection about Spain in dancing format. Various Spanish dances and ballets, which Russia male dancer and ballerines performs with passion and enthusiasm. In the 20th century, composer Boris Asafiev had already referred to the surprising and ongoing love of Russian dancers, Spanish dancers, subjects and roles as Spanish Russia's priority. Russian ballerines took over the stylistics of Spanish dancers from second hand. Foreign pedagogues that encountered Spanish dancers while working in Europe and foreign ballerines invited to Petersburg. They were the ones with the brightest interpretation of Spanish dancing culture in Russia. This report covers the most, the more famous Russian Spaniards of the 1830s and 1840s. Avdotia Istomina. Physically, she resembled southern beauties. Istomina was a beautiful brunette of average height quite slender with fiery black eyes adorned with long eyelashes. The dancers knew she was a beautiful and glady pole for many artists in quite revealing costumes. Her ardent boy crazy nature became the source of Guzzi, intrigue, Ramos and duels. In the autumn of 1817, all of Petersburg was surprised by the unique fourth duel in which an aristocratic yard participated due to 18 year old stamina. As a result, Istomina lost her beloved Sheremetev and acute, unbelievable popularity on stage, in great part due to her reputation as a fatal dancer. The Spanish repertoire of Istomina was quite large. Alongside Spanish dancers in divertisements, she performed solo roles in the ballads Carols and Rosalba, Armaviva and Rosina, and also participated in Petersburg premiere of Bimarche's drama, The Marriage of Figaro. <clears throat> the last ballad created for Stamina, Zoraida of the Moo of Grenada. This performance can be considered a frontier for Russia's dancing, Spain. The last great dramatic ballad created by the precept of outgoing classicism, in which the image of the main hero is endowed with romantic passion and selfness. The production subjects, in part, recalled the Antique Testament of Susanna and the Old Biggers, but the action was shifted to the <laughs> branch of Moorish Spain. The king of Grenada, Almanzor, is fully happy in his marriage with his faithful wife, Zoraida. Almanzor heads off to war and two elderly noblemen in flames with crimi criminal passion for his wife, try to seduce him. His wholesome wife rejects their solicitations. Then the elder slander her her entity is in vain. Unfortunately, they sentence her. Then the king of Grenada leaves to leak his spiritual wounds at, he, at another war, where he is seriously wounded. Zoraida makes her way to the battlefield, saving her husband and nursing him back to health. Before long, the lie of the witness is revealed. Zoraida is acquitted. Along with her husband, she uh, returns to the city in a, a triumphant victor's carriage. The ballad concludes uh, with military games and celebratory dances. The ballad's plot is truly heroic, virtue and tenacity. 
boldness and readiness to accept punishment, deceiveness and indiscriminate forgiveness. All of the themes emerge for the Lord's best creations, preserving the heroic images of the best character from a romantic ballad. She is a tender and faithful wife, a female asserting her honor, innocently malignant and fighting for truth, a brave heroine who saves her husband's life. The role became the last for stamina, and she drew numerous a pleasure for it from graceful views. One year later, left one year later, Istomina left the stage. During Marie Talioni's tour to Petersburg, Abdotti Istomina was seen in the theater's box seats where she, where she watched the first performance of La Silfide with admiration and applauded the ballerina with gratitude. Mm. Elena Andrianova. Marie Talioni's performance in Petersburg had a tremendous influence on other heroines of this uh, rep report, Elena Andrianova. She was a truly talented ballerina, alongside full mastery of the arsenal of virtuosic classical dance. She was considered an excellent pantomime <laughs> actress and a wonderful performer of character dance, among which, which she performed the Spanish dances best of all. Andrianova performed Russia prime of ballet Paquita. The role of the Spanish girl Paquita combined classical and character dancing and the elaborately developed pantomime episodes. In the classics, Andrianova impressed viewers with her ethereal lightness and in character dances with her fiery movements. According to the critics in the reading Pade Folie, uh, the dancer out outdid herself. One barely noticed the hardest steps and poses. Andrianova has never before been so amazingly good. She was her herself. In the crowning moments, uh, moments of ballad, Andrianova and Petipa performed divinely and with great lightness. In the El Haleo de Cadex, a charming dance, Paquita's suffering was weirdly portrayed by the dancer and the critics claimed the remarkable mime talent of Andrianova correspond corresponded to a great extent with the ballet's success. Andrianova became one of the first Russian dancers who danced so many character dances so successfully, with a real success, combining performance in classical ballads and divertisements. Her contemporaries spoke of the dancing role created by, created by Andrianova as follows. She had no rivals in the various Spanish dances, requiring searching, charisma, and captivating charms. Hokachusha, the crowning dance of Andrianova, and rarely did a performance of its opera without a request for an encore, was referred to by the enthusiastic Russia Vesmaka as a tornado of lively passion. Elena Andrianova was able to express herself to the maximum extent in Spanish dances. It was in them that she <laughs> displayed proud, inapproachability, the hot passion, and penetrating tenders. It was the Spanish dances that this Russia dance was able to create her individual Spanish data. And she remains in history out of the best Russian Spaniards. Olga Schlepert. The artistic individuality of ballerina Olga Schlepert was also formed around the direct influence of Marie and Philippe Italione. Schlepert was 15 years old when Marie Italione arrived in Petersburg. Philippe Italione used the young dancer in his ballads creating secondary roles for her. According to testimonies from her contemporaries, Olga Schleffer dancing alongside Marie Taglioni, followed every gesture, every movement of the ballerina, studying her mania and feasting her eyes on her grace. After Marie Taglioni left Russia, Schleffer's talent continued to perfect itself, and she performed solo roles. One of her significant roles was Mirta in Giselle, and promised to become a star of Russia ballad, but re repeat, Consumption led her to her grave at the age of 23 in 1845. The Spanish repertoire of Olga Schleffert was not expanded due to a career that was much too short, but it is obvious that the dancer instilled great interest and demonstrated extraordinary talent in performing character roles. She first encountered Spanish dances at the age of 10. In Petersburg in 1832, the Alexandrinsky Theater was festively opened. For the celebratory performance, ballet master Alexis Blush created a one-act ballet, Spanish celebration, in which he gave Olga Schlepert and Alexandra Danilova a pas de deux in the Spanish style. 
the debut proved to be a great success. The young dancers were mentioned on a quill footing with rank and title dancer in the Northern Beat. One of Olga Schleffel's best role was Selina in Le Pirat, the first large role created especially for the young dancer, according to the libretto. Zelina was the girlfriend of the delicate Penia Donna Maria. Maria Taglioni played this role and consoled her when she was kept, captured by the pirate Rydak Bay. In the second act, Maria Taglioni and Olga Schleppert performed a duet in which the heroine Taglioni vented her grief about leaving her homeland and abandoning her fiancé. The girlfriend Schleppert tried as much as she could to distract her from these sad thoughts and amused her with bold Spanish dancing with the accompaniment of castanets. This dance was considered above all praise. The painter Vasily Tim captured Olga Schleffert in this role, leaving a visual imprint of the dancers, of the dancer who left this life too young. In the painting, the, painting, the artist uh, portrays a lyrical heroine in sad contemplation in a simple but refined pose. The ballerina's romantic face revealed the poetic art of Olga Schleppert, who unfortunately input the lyrical theme, so characteristic of the Russian performance tradition, into the treatment of Spanish dances. The artistry of Russian ballerines of the 1830s and 1840s, Avdotya Istomina, Yelena Andrianova, and Olga Schleppert, attest to the sincere uh, interest of Russian culture in Spanish themes about the expansion of artistic and stylistic limitation. Each dancer and lived and lived the Spanish dancers with her own bright individuality. Istomina with guile, guile and coquetry, Andriana with a great range of expressive methods from pen, penetrating emotions to aesthetic dramatism, and Schleffert with purity and virtuosic moment, movement. Thanks to them, the art of faraway Spain became closer. It's finished. <laughs> uh, uh, the... uh, uh.